Hello and welcome to Malibu Dolls. This is Reviews and Unboxing and today I will be reviewing and unboxing the Barbie Extra doll number 3. This doll is part of the Barbie Extra collection that was launched by Mattel in 2020 and continues to gain popularity today. In fact, I did a video a few months ago discussing this line in general, the most recent Barbie Extra dolls as well as the rivalry between Mattel and MGA because of these new releases. Now, I finally got my hands on a Barbie Extra doll and I am very excited to show her to you. Although this doll is no longer available for purchase on the official Barbie website, there are plenty of retailers like Target and Amazon who offer this doll. Generally, all of the Barbie Extra dolls range from $20 to $25. I got mine for $21.99 on Amazon. The doll is inside a vibrant and colorful box where she can easily be seen. The dolls in this line are numbered. This is doll number three. In the center is the name of the collection completed in a holographic print as well as the Barbie logo. At the top right corner, there is a gummy bear filled with glittery stars. At the bottom right corner, there is a detailed illustration of the character together with her adorable, mega excited unicorn pet. We will definitely compare the art of the doll to the actual Barbie a little bit later. On the left side of the box is a larger illustration of the doll. On the right side at the top is the doll symbol and at the bottom is a separate illustration of the pet. The back of the box is filled with different vibrant elements. Here we see another illustration of the character in full size together with her pet and around them are all of the accessories the doll comes with. By the way, it is indicated that there are 15 styling pieces. However, this number includes the clothes that are actually on the doll as well. At the bottom right are the illustrations of the two other dolls in the first wave of Barbie Extra. These are the African American and Asian dolls. Below it is indicated that the doll was made in Indonesia. This is what the top and bottom of the box look like. Let's finally unbox this doll. Right now the doll stands in a dynamic pose in front of a gradient purple background with small little symbols that remind me of the 80s. It is interesting to point out that these dolls do not come with stands, which is understandable because this is a play line. However, brushes are not included either. This is what she looks like completely deboxed. The doll has the iconic Millie face sculpt. There is a slight downside to her because she has a pixelated face. However, it is not noticeable from a distance. She has blue eyes and black lashes at the top and brown lashes at the bottom. Above, she has pink eyeshadow, light brown eyebrows, and peach-colored lips. In both ears, the doll has plastic hoop earrings coated in a glossy silver paint. They cannot be taken out of the head. The doll's hairstyle is very cute and is completed with two colors, a strawberry blonde and a light pink. At the top, she has two little buns completed with blonde hair. There are two crimp pink strands that go all the way down to her knees. The strands left over from the buns are secured with first a clear band and then small little clips on the top. This is what the doll's hair looks like on the back. As you can see, it is crimped and very long. By the way, after filming, I decided to brush the hair out and I think it looks a lot better this way. She also comes with three different necklaces. The first is more of a matte gray chain choker, then a necklace with stars, and then a necklace covered with shiny silver paint featuring the Barbie logo. All three can be taken off. The outfit is very positive and unique. The doll is wearing a huge fluffy pink jacket. It is lined everywhere with a rough pink material except for the sleeves. Underneath, the doll is wearing a metallic silver body. It can be taken off. Below, she has a very original jean imitated pants with a white star print. On both sides, there are ruffles which make these pants so much cuter. The jeans can be taken off as well. On her feet, she has white shoes with a heel with little wings on the sides. Although these are quite simple, they look very cute and tie into this Barbie style very well. On the left hand, the doll has a huge blue bear ring covering almost the entire hand. Because the plastic is semi-transparent, it looks like a little gummy bear. This Barbie also comes with a relatively large bag in the shape of a candy. It is a neon yellow color with the word sweet on the top. On the back, there is an imitation of a zipper. She also comes with cute round sunglasses with pearl accents. The lens part is completely opaque, but either way, they look really nice on the doll. Lastly, look at how adorable this Barbie's pet is. 
It is a regular pig, but with unicorn-like accessories. This includes a headband with flowers, a unicorn horn, as well as a pair of wings. When you remove everything, the pet turns into an ordinary pig with closed eyes and a little smile. It is made of plastic and has a small molded on tail. The pet also has a cloud accessory where it can stand. On the inside, it is hollow and looks like this. By the way, the doll does not have a made to move body. However, she does have articulation in the knees, elbows, wrists, and neck. Comparing the doll to her art, the main differences I see is that her makeup on the illustration is much more vibrant as well as the glasses are not opaque. I hope today's video of reviews and unboxing was interesting. Personally, I really love this doll and her positive look and completely recommend her. I am happy that we finally got a Barbie playline with dolls that has decent quality and appeals to collectors as well. Comment your thoughts on this doll on the Barbie Extra line itself, and I will see you next time. Bye!